in this video I have a scrapbooky type haul to share with you. It feels like ages since I've done one of these, like at least, you know, stuff that I've bought kind of thing, because I've been sharing a lot of design team things recently, which I'm very lucky to have. But yes, it probably hasn't been that long, but yes, this is the first haul in at least a little while since I've bought from a new place or anything like that, so it's very exciting. So this haul mostly features the new Misty Mountains collection from Kaisercraft. And the shop is called Merley Impressions. I was looking for somewhere to buy this collection from, and one of the main, like, Kayser Craft places I know of, at least, in the UK, they only had four of the items and stuff, and I came across this website called Merley Impressions, as I said. I don't know why I'd never heard of them before, but they call themselves Kayser Craft Specialists in the UK, and they've got loads and loads of stuff. And the prices are really, really reasonable as well. So, as I said, this is mostly the Misty Mountains collections, you guys ever get that thing where a new collection comes out or even just a new craft item and you can't stop thinking about it, like it's haunting your dreams? Just, yeah, it was that, so I just, I had to get it. But as they had so many other lovely Kayser Craft things, I might have purchased one or two other bits from their sale section and stuff. But I'll show you the Misty Mountain stuff first and then show you the other bits. So this is what it looked like when I opened it. I just thought I'd show you this really nice touch of like the little note with the butterfly on it. I just thought that was super sweet. And I haven't opened it properly yet, so you guys will be getting my initial reactions and whatnot. But they also put in um, these two Kayser Craft like latest workshops magazine kind of things which are really really good and full of like great sketch ideas and project ideas and cards and all kinds of things so I've been having great fun looking through these and getting fairly inspired especially as this one does actually have the Misty Mountains collection in it as well so anyways I just thought I'd show you those because I thought those were a nice little bonus kind of thing but as I said onto the items themselves so as I said I will start with Misty Mountains and then show you the other bits so the first thing is the Misty Mountains like general paper pack which has six pattern 12 by 12 double sided pages, two sheets of each design and the coordination sticker sheet. So let's have a little look see at these beauties. The first paper is called Moody and features these very very beautiful florals in the sort of the faded sort of thing going on there. Really really pretty and on the other side we've got the simple sort of geometric geometric that's not a word pattern there in this sort of oh it's a hard it's like almost purple but it's still blue with some patchy bits on it as well so obviously there are two of each so I'll just sort of do it like that the next paper is called marbled and it's pretty self-explanatory just the beautiful purple and blue marbling on there and then the very very pretty florals on the back and as you may have noticed on the branding ship strip Blah, blah, blah. on the b side of each page you've got something that you can cut off as well and use in your layouts as like little phrases or titles or whatever you like so yes there is that paper next is a really really simple but very very beautiful paper and i don't know how to say it because i've seen this word a couple of times in my life but i've never heard it said out loud and i don't know how to b-o-k-e-h i'm gonna google how to say that later but anyway yes just the lovely pink blush kind of colour with the spots of light and that really really pretty and then some more marbling on the other side a different kind of marble and this is happiness blooms from within then this one is called a dusty plum and we've got a lovely purple polka dot and the other side <laughs> these gorgeous florals that I'm just gonna snippy snippy fuzzy cut I just I'm so looking forward to that and on here we have, you were given this life because you are strong enough to live it, which is very beautiful. So yes, that paper, yum yum. The next one is called Light Leaks and we've got the sort of, this colour that's so, I think in different lights, it's, sometimes it's going to look purple and sometimes it's going to look blue. It's hard to describe, but yes, you can see the sort of effect going on there, the sort of distressed kind of thing going on it's really pretty and will make a, such a perfect backing paper for a scrapbook piece but then also look at this side and how lovely that is with the florals that also fade and the little lights of sort of spots and circles of light and stuff oh so lovely and it says be somebody who makes everybody feel like a somebody oh and then the last paper for this little pack is Eclipse with the lovely, lovely stripes. Love those on there. All of these would make great backing papers actually for scrapbook layouts. Like maybe I'd struggle with that one, but for the rest of them, 
they're all great for not just usually with pattern paper sometimes you go oh, i don't know how i'd use it apart from fussy cut it but not having that thing with any of these and then this one has the geometric in the sort of there's some sort of there's foiling in this collection where you could argue whether it was rose gold or copper but um there's a hint of that in this pattern as well as well as like the purple and the blue and everything and we've got good things come to those who hustle down the bottom and then of course in there you get the 12 by 12 sticker sheet which normal case of craft stuff but always wonderful with all the phrases and stuff up here some like some strip stickers a big old floral down here some little floral elements and some like little flags and hearts and all sorts of lovely things like that so that's what came in the sort of like the general pack that you can get and then I got a couple of extra papers that don't come in that pack so this one is called divine and we've got a mix of the lovely florals down the bottom here and all the marbling and stuff going up up the top and the other side has all the lovely cut apart phrases and quotes and sentiments and all that kind of thing and I just love 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 these and of course I got two of those because I like both sides so yes there we go so there's two of those and then there is this one and this is called hang on the bu quotes and i just i had to get these foil quotes how gorgeous are they and you could just like cut them up and use them as like little sentiments or whatever or you could even really like carefully cut them and use it as titles and stuff i just obviously had to because just how pretty is that and then I also got a spare of the sticker sheet because why in the heck not? I knew I would use it, especially this big floral down the bottom. So yes, that's it for 12 by 12 things. There was one paper that I meant to order and completely forgot. And I'll show you which one in this little thing here. I thought I'd put it in my basket, but obviously I hadn't. It is this one here. Ugh. I don't know how well you can see that, but the, the one with the mountains on, it's called Sunset. So whoopsie I forgot but these things happen and then for the non 12 by 12 things the little extras and whatnot I've got the six and a half inch paper pad which I will just very quickly flick through because it's got some extra little bits and pieces in here I'm just going to carefully I'm always nervous doing this that I'm going to ruin the top paper right then yes this is the six and a half inch paper pad for Misty Mountains we've got two or each I think of 12 sheets of the paper 12 speciality papers including two uh, spot varnish two four foils blah, blah 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 and four die cut pages so let's just quickly look through here you've seen these ones before these are all the patterns of the thing but this one You've seen the same pattern, but this one is for y'all. So pretty. There's that one with the little roses on. That pink sort of light one there. And then we've got polka dots in pink with the foiling there. Ever just so, so lovely and pretty. And I love it so, so, so much. And then this one with the foiling. Just how pretty is that? Oh, I can't get over it. It's just lovely. There's that one again, big fan of that one, the floral. I hope I'm opening that wide enough for you guys to see. And then we've got some more cutter parts with the foils. Oh, how lush, how lush is that? I just absolutely love these. And there's two of those. Then the stripes, that one, which we haven't seen yet. That's nice. It looks like, um, you know, like rocks geode rock thingies I don't know the name of them that you get these are the um the spot varnish like the spot uv kind of things I don't know how well you can make out it's kind of like the embossed effect kind of thing there that's the one that I meant to get the 12 by 12 of and uh forgot to put it in my basket or I thought I had but anyways never mind so that's the mountain one and there's this one which has actually got a line here so it's actually two sort of cut apart ones there that's I think was the B side of the mountain one that I forgot to get oh and that's the spot varnish on that one as well I don't know if you can just catch the sort of shininess on there and then these are little die cut ones so you can poke all of these out they just pop out like that that one Ooh. then like a border one some little tags and some more sentiments and phrases and that kind of thing there so yes that is these six and a half gonna struggle not to say to say six by six six and a half inch paper pad then we have the ephemera pack the kaiser craft collectibles they call them i'm just going to sort of put them out in here i won't go through 
every single one, one by one kind of thing, but just to give you an idea of what's in here. So lots of sentiments and things. I don't think there's actual foiling on any of these, but it kind of gives like a foiled whoa, effect kind of thing. Little tag <laughs> there. And then, yes, love, tag, sentiments, flowers, just really, really pretty, pretty. Oh, I like those little clocks and compasses and stuff. Those are lovely. What does that say? Blessed, perfect, remember this. Ugh. I'm not holding these very well. Some ampersands. Oh, I like that with the florals on. Very pretty. Butterflies can always do with lots and lots of butterflies. Another one here. Beautiful. Another ampersand and some more florals. So yes, that is the collectibles pack. And then the last thing I have from Misty Mountains, I think, anyway, is this, uh, the clear stamps pack, which looks like this. I don't know how much glare you're getting, so maybe if I pull it out, you'll get it slightly better. I'm not sure, but we've got be bright, be happy, be you. Got some hair on my finger there. <laughs> be your own kind of beautiful. You don't have to be perfect to be amazing. You've got this. You are enough. It's the little things and live a big life. And I just love this font. It's very, very pretty. So pretty much everything else I ordered. There are still quite a few things to go through, by the way, if you were thinking this haul was drawing to a close. But yes, almost everything else was from their sale section. Not almost everything but most I think especially most of these papers of which I have a fair few so let's just quickly go through these this is from the Botanica collection and it's called Seed but I got it for that side because I just think that is very 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 pretty there are some things from the same collection but I don't think they're done in order so we're just we're just going to go through them as they are so this is from the Flora Delight collection and it's called Chic looks like that this was one not necessarily my usual thing but it was so cheap that i couldn't resist whoopsie then we've got same collection euphoria gonna fussy cut out those bad boys you know i'm gonna do that that side is nice as well though but yes snippy snippy for that this one is from the now boarding collection and it's just one of their die cut uh gloss something or other sheets i can't think of the name of them but obviously just got this round with like the compasses and some planes and the the latitude and long longitude whatever thing going around the edge there i just thought that was quite different and fun then from the storyteller collection this one is called memoir and again i thought i might fussy cut this one out but actually looking at it that might be quite difficult but we will see and the other side looks like that which i'm not so keen on but that is very pretty. Then everything else, papers wise at least, is from the Tropical Punch collection. So there's this one called Cocktail. And looks like that on the B side, but I love this one. And if you look closely, there's some print in the background as well, which I think is very, very pretty. This one is called Party, just a simple cut apart there. That doily one is really, really pretty. I like that a lot. The other side looks like that, but obviously I got it for that side. This next one is called Bubbles and it's just like, I like the strip ones, I like them a lot, so yes, got that one on that side, but I do like that side a lot as well, actually. Mm, difficult one, I like both sides of that one. This one is called Fun Times and we've got the lovely roses on one side and then the, uh, the like the newspaper kind of print on there, kind of looks like the classified section kind of thing. I do like that, I think that has the potential to make a great, great background as well. So just don't know. This one is called Sunny. Again, how just a great background. This one with the floral cluster in one corner and then the wood grain with the script on as well. Really pretty. The other side is red, very red. I do actually quite like that, but obviously I like that side most. And the last one is one of their uh, gloss papers, I think they're called. And it's also, it's one sided. It is called uh rose water and yes so all of this around the edge has that sort of um spot uv effect on these roses like you can feel them and then on the inside there's that print again that obviously i have plans to use this as a background it's very very pretty and then i got one more sticker sheet this is from botanica and i just thought i just thought that yeah the leaves and stuff in this were absolutely lovely. These greens are so, so pretty. I love them so much. And like this row of the leaves and stuff and all these sentiments and stuff as well. So yes, that goes with Botanica. Have I only got one paper of that, but never mind. So those are all the 12 by 12 things. 
And then because I got so many of the Tropical Punch papers, I thought I would get the collectibles as well. And they were on a really, really good sale price as well, which was very hard for me to resist. You can tell it's one of the older collections because it's got the older style of um, collectibles packaging, which I actually prefer, I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, so just get a very quick idea of what's in these. Lots of butterflies. That makes me very happy. I do like my... Oh, look at that bunting. That's lovely. Oh, oh, that's delightful. But yes, this um collection, the Tropical Punch, is this sort of really interesting mix. I realise it's a much older collection and many of you have probably seen it before. But anyways, this really interesting mix of sort of tea party vintagey, but also the whole tropical thing as well. Really interesting and not something, you know, slightly different kind of thing with tickets and stuff sorry I should go through this a bit faster so you don't get too bored but I'm looking at this for the first time myself so just trying to get an idea of what's in here I've got some pineapples more butterflies I'll admit one ticket stub things and then lots and lots of lovely florals and some doilies that's super nice then the next thing I picked up is the only non Kayser craft thing, which are these glass beads by the Prima Art, but oh no, Art Ingredients, sorry. I just opened this up actually so you can see. Also, they came beautifully wrapped in one of these, which I super appreciate because these are so helpful and handy to have around to keep looking mini collections in. So, you know, just a little bonus there. All right, so I've got these open. So these are three millimeter, tiny, just tiny little beads, really just the cute little, whoa beads like that I don't know how well you can see those but I just thought they would be helpful to use in mixed media things and they were quite cheap as well about three pounds so yes for prima that's a good price I should add but anyway so yes there's those and the last three things I have to show you are stamps so I got these clear stamps from Magnolia Grove obviously I don't have anything from this collection but I thought these would just be really helpful, just general stamps, because they're florals and stuff, and there's a little sort of flourish. They're good for backing or anything, really. So, yes, I just thought those would be handy, and they were not that price, I should add. I think they were in the sales section. So, yes, there's the first ones. And then I got some sort of background kind of stamps, because I am seriously lacking in those. So, the first one I got is this brick wall one which I think will be very very handy I've seen people use the brick wall stamps so much and every time I'm like oh, I want one but they've always seemed so expensive until I came across this one so yay and then this one is another kind of backing stamp or background stamp that I've really been lusting after which is a scripty one so sort of unintelligible or illegible that's the word script but yes just really really pretty I don't know you might be able to just make it out but I don't think you're supposed to so yes there's that right then so there was my little haul of the Kaisercraft Misty Mountains collection which is just oh so gorgeous plus a couple of other little Kaisercraft bits and pieces as well plus a little Prima object too so yes of course I will link the shop for you to check out I'm not going to link every single separate item because quite frankly that's going to take me forever but what I'll try and do is link the collection so if you remember if there's an item that you liked and you remember the collection i will hopefully have the collection to the shop um down in the description box but like obviously i can't guarantee that it's going to be in stock or anything like that so there we go i think the postage um is very reasonable or it's free over 60 pound to the uk they do ship to most of europe i think i did check it out but i've forgotten most of mainland europe i think um unfortunately they don't ship internationally so like us and canada i'm sorry guys i probably should have said that to you at the beginning but you know you can still enjoy seeing the things and you you guys have got plenty of places to buy this kind of thing Okay then, so be on the lookout for projects from me featuring these collection. Probably going to be at least a week until I can get that done because i got a whole big list of stuff i got to do before that. So I just get to stroke this for now. <laughs> right, yes, enough from me. Thank you as ever so, so much for watching. Please leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. It really, really helps me out and comment and all those things that just I appreciate so, so much. So yes, thank you. Okay, now going. Farewell. Adieu. Goodbye.